Hello everyone, and welcome to Probability Theory, AMS 311. My name is Dr. Fred Rispoli, and it's my pleasure to guide you through this online course. Now, probability theory is both interesting and practical. Probability is used to solve many interesting practical problems, and it also provides foundation for areas such as statistics and simulation. So a very interesting course. Now my background includes a PhD from no other school than Stony Brook University in the Applied Mathematics and Statistics Department. My training has allowed me to be a statistician involved in industrial decision making, providing corporate training for manufacturing companies, applying financial statistics to portfolio analysis, and work in various environmental applications. So in addition to teaching college courses for about 25 years, I've also worked at Brookhaven National Laboratory on the environmental applications that they're, they're interested there. I've started my own corporate training company, specializing in Six Sigma training, and I also teach online statistics at an all online school called North Central University. Now, in this AMS 311 course, the description is that we will study probability spaces, random variables, moment generating functions, algebra of expectations both conditional and marginal distributions, multivariate distributions, order statistics, and the law of large numbers. This is a fairly, fairly standard course in a lot of applied math curriculums. So we will be, for the most part, running the traditional probability theory course. Now, there are prerequisites, as you could see here. Um, AMS 301 and 310. So 310, the precursor, that's the survey of probability and statistics. And you do need to have a decent amount of calculus. You know, roughly speaking, these are Calc 3. So, so these are important prerequisites. Students need to know these things before they take AMS 311. Now we do have a required textbook. The textbook is called Introduction to Probability, and you can see it's by Mark Ward and Ellen Goodlock. Um, it's the second printing is the one that you want, and this is published by Macmillan. Also, W.H. Freeman is, is a certain part of Macmillan. So, especially in an online class, I believe it's essential to have this textbook. You'll want to go through it. I will suggest problems to look at in this book. These will be important problems to help you learn the material. So, if you have it, my advice is make this the first thing on your to-do list. Get yourself a copy of this book. It is available in the Stony Brook Bookstore. As far as contact information, the best way to reach me is with an email. Here you can see my Stony Brook email address. I will also be available on campus once per week. I will announce when. It's sort of a rotating schedule, so I'll, I will cover this in my announcements as to when I'll be on campus. My office is in the math tower on the ground floor, room P135. So I do make a promise. I promise to try to make this course as painless as possible. So we'll do this in various ways. I'll make sure you have lots of solved problems that you can look at. Solve problems from the book, problems from previous tests and just problems within the, the class notes as well. As far as course materials, the course will be run using Blackboard, and many
many materials. In fact, all materials will be posted on Blackboard. These materials will include what I call overview videos. So a brief video trying to explain what's, what's covered in each section. Videos with solved examples and problems from the textbook. And also some special topic videos if there's certain areas that I feel need more coverage than what you get in the class notes or the textbook. I have videos made on these topics. Also posted in the course materials on Blackboard will be class notes. So these are the notes that I use when I'm teaching the course traditional way. You could think of these also as, as notes that provide somewhat of an outline for what is in the textbook. Plus there will be test materials, including practice tests. These will be posted on Blackboard in a different section there's a section on Blackboard that I call test materials. So you'll see things there as well. So I do plan on making announcements fairly often. Roughly speaking, it'll be every other day. But there are times when there might be a lot of things to say. So you might see announcements um, every day for a little while. Okay, so I do wish you good luck in the course. Keep in mind that an understanding of probability may not be immediate, but if you keep trying and practicing, the probabilities will definitely work in your favor. So don't get frustrated. Remember, you want to develop mental toughness. It's a very important skill to have when working on mathematical problems. What I can say now more than ever, we do live in a digital world, and as a result, probability and statistics are more useful now than any other time in history. There are fairly new areas emerging, such as data mining, machine learning. So these items are sort of being developed every day. Data science now is an excellent career path that people could take. Many large companies are using the techniques that we will be sort of talking about, or at least the probabilities that we use provide the foundations for techniques. Companies such as Amazon, Google, Facebook, they're all using a lot of these ideas. So I very much look forward to working with you in this online course. I, I hope it goes smoothly and you have a lot of success. So thank you for watching my welcome video and I look forward to working working with you.